beginning on, uh, yeah, I only gave you all page four, but I have uh, the rest of them in case we, uh, in case I decide to go back. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> hi. No, you you start on page four because that's where uh, we're starting with. Um, okay. Uh, Cleve, yeah, or Eucharistic vestments. But in case I need to go back, I need to have uh, these with me. So, uh, so last time we did the um, the non Eucharistic vestments. So these these ones are specific for the um, uh, for the Eucharist. Like the coat is uh, even though so the coat is supposed to be used when when you're doing non uh, Eucharistic things. There are some people who will uh, to do it uh, to give it a sense of uh, you know dignity or stuff like that. They'll wear the coat first and walk in. But uh, if you're not doing like the Aspergius or anything like that, then technically you're, so the Aspergius, what they do, uh, and we'll go over that when we get to the, uh, the, the, the theology of the Mass, is you're going through and you're sensing people, or not sensing, you're uh, throwing water at them at the, at the beginning, you're cleansing them, and uh, so you need to have your arms free so people will come in and, and the cope and do that. But uh, if you don't do it, you're just doing it because the um, the vestment looks pretty, and uh, and that's okay. I don't mind that, um, but uh, you're you're adding uh, a thing that shouldn't necessarily uh, be a part of it. And uh, but again, it, it's okay you're, because uh, when the in the Church of England, when uh, when all the vestments were stripped away. And it just be uh, you got to be wearing the uh, uh, preaching gown essentially. You look more pro um, uh, Presbyterian than you do uh, than you did uh, Catholic. And so uh, with the Oxford movement, they started to add things back in. And so you would see uh, you know people who were high church they would they would be having mass in um, uh, the whole time uh, in the cope and like uh, Bishop. Uh, Bishop Reed likes to do that. Is to he's like I don't want to change. I just want to keep my cope on the thing the whole time. So it's uh, it, you know it's not a, a hell worthy offense to uh, to wear your cope uh, uh, out of place. You're just uh, you know you just need to know that you're wearing out of place because rules are made to be broken. So but uh, now we're doing the Eucharistic vestments, and so the first thing you do is uh, this. Uh, the cassock is it's, a, is it's not even the underwear, it's more like your skin because this is what you start from and so the amice is you put it on a square piece of linen and it's got little strings that you uh, that the per ideally what you're supposed to do is put it on and then you tie it around you and uh, then you make a little hood out of it and um, I think in here, there's a little, um, yeah, there we go, I, he didn't do it, but what you do is you, you, uh, put it on, and then you tie it around, and then you slide it back, and it forms a very nice little collar, and what, practically what it does is it keeps the vestments clean, and, but the only person that's, that I know that is able to do that little slide down trick and make it look good is Bishop Iker. He is a master at it. <laughs> he just slides it down and it just looks like oh so nice. Me when I do it, it looks like uh, it, it does not look dignified. So I do it. I do it the dirty Roman way, which is just you put it on there on your head for uh, because it says that it's the helmet of salvation. You put it on and then you stick it over your um, over your shoulders. Well, my my uh, lovely assistant here has uh, <laughs> has brought one. So, what, what, ideally, the way you're supposed to do it is you're supposed to find the way that it goes, and then you you put it on, and then you fold it a couple times, and um, and I I I think I did it a couple times. So then you kiss the kiss the cross on it, and then you put it on here, and then you. You tie it around the back like this. That way you're nice and good and snug in here. And so you you put it on, and then you 
but and it comes nice down and folds a nice little collar and some people will then cinch it up such that, uh, that it continues to look nice and so this is the the proper way to do it is to have and uh, you'll f have people that have a nice little apparel there and and it looks very nice when done properly i can never do it properly. <laughs> it looks actually pretty good yeah well that's one um <laughs> and so uh but the way i do it is uh the easier way is you put their kiss and you put it on say a little prayer and then you just put it back on and put it the way it goes <laughs> <laughs> it's much more practical but what it <laughs> yeah, what it does is it um, is it covers up anything here, so um, it that way you're not sweating any uh, over it or anything like that. But you're not, you know, you can see your collar in there, so you know if you you know if your uh, if your collar's not in or anything like that. This prevents all of that, mm. and um, and so this is what the the amos does. And uh, so it's interpreted as uh, representing the rag linen that the Jews blindfolded uh, Jesus with. And uh, uh, so it's, you, you can see that, or it's also interpreted as the, uh, the helmet of salvation. So this is, hey, uh, Mike, do I have any, um, uh, an olive in there? Preferably one with more lace because that's the, that's the good way. <laughs> They say more lace is more grace, uh, and so you have to have all the lace on because um, you, you know you want to represent to the people that you are a grace-filled person. <laughs> but you know, I see. Uh, so the the cassock owl, which is uh, the ma no, that's the uh, surplus. Is that the only one I got? It. Yeah. It, yeah. That's a surplus. That is a surplus of material. <laughs> that so, is his curtain. Closeness. Yeah. So the um, the cassock all is the. Uh, I think I said it last time. It's the abomination of desolation uh, because it's just it, it's adding a degree of essentially laziness into the uh, into the mass. Yeah. And so it's making it to where you, um, uh, you're doing, there you go, now that I'm not putting things on my head, uh, it, it's making it to where you're saying, okay, uh, I don't want to have to do this piece because it's difficult, so I'm just going to wear a cassock alb and not, but then you can see, you know, you're, it just doesn't look as, as uh, put together. And so, uh, so it's the abomination of desolation, and no one should ever wear a cast belt, unless directed, and then you have to. And uh, I think I said last time that I was uh, I was at clergy retreat uh, a couple years ago, and they had all the the um, the cassock and katas uh, uh, were called for, and they were already out there. And so I was the thoroughfare, and I came in later. And the only thing left was a uh, was a cassock elf. So there, I, I dutifully put it on, did it uh, did it properly, but I had to not make eye contact with anyone because if I did, I was going to lose it because they all know my distaste for the cassock elf. And so Father Petta, who's uh, the um, the priest in um, in where is he? Uh, in North Fort Worth, in Keller, essentially, uh, he. Um, he took a picture of me. I'm like, oh, <laughs> and uh, so, so the all is the next thing here, and this is uh, this goes over, and you again each each of these um, each of these vestments have um, have prayer associated with it, uh, and so as you're as you're vesting, you're starting the entire thing in prayer. And so this is, would be the time that you, if you have your, your hood up like this, that you're putting it on and it's protecting all the vestments. And then you, and then you slide it down. And see, this is when it just looks horrible. But except for Bishop Eicher, who can amazingly just slide it down and it looks just so beautiful. Me, when I do it, it looks like my, my, 
uh, vestments vomited out something. <laughs> and so then you tie it here. And so this is this is the all uh, you you have typically when you have uh, a a decent amount of um, uh, of lace. This is a this is a decent amount of lace. Uh, that that is the abomination of desolation. That is the Casigal. Uh, it is what what it is is it's just a um, it, it it's just like I said it's the cassock and the alb so you're meant to wear your civvies under it and then you put it on and it um, doesn't it, most people don't wear the uh, the all or the amice under it and so it's just. Do you feel like a he-man with all those clothes on? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's just just because I'm putting on extra clothes. But um, but what this does is you have your little parts of lace here. So and the arms, and then you have the uh, the, the bottom here, and then uh, these were uh, in in the English, I believe. Uh, you have also the uh, apparel amice. So you have one here. Uh, on, on, uh, on apparel here, and apparel here, and apparel here, and on one the back. So technically, you have five uh, apparels on your on the garments that you're putting on. The five wounds of Christ is what they're uh, supposed to be. And so those uh, gradually turned into lace, uh, which in the uh, in the warmer climates, the more lace, the le the more you can cover yourself, but not add weight. And so that's why I like all the lace, because it's hot. And I don't like hot, uh, because I have to wear all this. And so, um, especially during the summer, it just gets ungodly hot. And so you wear lace from here down, and, uh, and that way it's just not as hot. And, um, but this is, the, this is the alb. And so the alb here is the, um, thank you, sir, is worn in the sanctuary because, again, you're, you're engaged in um, uh, in assisting the priest. If you're like when Dave or uh, Deacon Mike wear, they're also uh, get vested in alps because they're assisting him. The higher up you go in the sanctuary, the more you're. So you have the the nave, which is where everyone sits, and that's like the world around us. Then you step up into the choir, and so they they wear a. Uh, a surplus because they are acting like the um, what the choir of angels uh, type thing. So they are in in heaven. Uh, the sanctuary is the world. It's uh, your the journey you take to heaven. So you have the world, then you have the um, the uh, the choirs of angels, which is also the uh, the church triumphant. Um, those who have uh, gone on to their great reward. And then you have up higher, you have the sacrifice of the mass. And so they're wearing alps and they're engaged in the actual sacrifice here. And um, so it's symbolic of purity of innocence uh, and of the ministerial office. It's also symbolic of the white garment in which uh, Herod clothed Jesus. So here, yeah, the next thing you have is the, uh, is the girdle. Before and, we continue, yes. can we back up for a second to the Amis? Or yes. the Amis? You mentioned down here that it's worn by the three sacred ministers. Yes, priest, deacon, and subdeacon. Thank you. Yes. Those are the sacred ministers. Um, and so here, uh, so there's a number of different ways to um, uh, tie, the, uh, tie the girdle. There's a, uh, you know, uh, You'll see people when they're wearing the the dirty casco is uh, they'll just put it off to the side and it's just there to kind of gird everything up so that you don't step on things. And then you have, uh, but the priest, what uh, the way the the priest does it is you make two little loopholes here because the next thing you do is uh, technically the next thing you do is you put on the uh, the manifold. But uh, I'm talking about this, so you see the cross, kiss the cross. Put it here, and these serve to um, make your little, uh, make sure your the stole is tight, and that way it doesn't flap around or anything like that. When I'm uh, 
when I'm the deacon. So the deacon wears a stole over only over one shoulder. And so typically what I'll do is I will, and I always do it over the wrong shoulder or over the wrong side because I want to uh, put it on my right side. But what I do is I do the same thing here so that I got only one thing. And what you'll do if you don't have a, a stole that's made for it, see like the deacon stole here is made for it. it they've connected it, but if you don't have it, you just kind of tie it in a, uh, in a knot here, and then I stick the whole thing there. That way it just kind of stays put. And, um, but, so, uh, and so, that's, so, the way the stake...